plus many through the journey of marriage. And I just finished my master's degree in theological studies, and I did my thesis on the biblical studies to healthy marriage. Um, and never been more passionate about marriage in my entire life. And it's a very sacred, very holy, very beautiful gift that God has given. And um, a lot of people undermine the, the beauty of marriage. And here I am, this unmarried, waiting on God, <laughs> believing God. And um, I just want to come here before I left Toronto. The Lord said I might prepare a certificate to honor you too. And so I just wanted to honor um, you, Pastor and Judy, um, an honoring covenant marriage. Oh, and, um, and it basically says, for honoring God and your spouse in covenant marriage, um, your reflection of God's love and your service to one another is a testimony to bless many. Above all, that love each other deeply because love covers a multitude of sins. And therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Um, it is an honor to bless you and your precious spouse. And I want you to know that I'm praying for you. And so God downloaded this prayer, this prophetic prayer, as a poem actually, and I wrote this and um, I gave this actually to all the couples on a birthday. And so I want to give you this poem as well that, um, that I wrote this evening for my birthday. Well, mine, two thousand. that's not when I was born, but 2016. <laughs> but, but July 25th is the actual birthday. This is a remembrance of, of um, the, this, the seed that God had told me to, to plant. And uh, I just want to say, um, we're going to be praying later, but there's double power in the anointing of covenant mm -hmm. marriage. And, you know, a lot of people say, well, how can an unmarried person minister to married couples? Well... He's been downloading this whole thesis and the teaching on marriage for so long. I just finished a whole series of family foundations and I took empowering relationships and blessing generation. And I'm just so honored of what God is doing through that. And my heart is just for families and married couples and to see people come together yeah, and healed. Amen. Because there's too much division happening and we need to stand in unison. Yeah? And the Lord has been showing me double power. And God's been opening my eyes to things that even married couples can't see. And so I just want to encourage you, pray for covenant couples if you're not married. And if you're not married, um, stand in the gap and pray because we need to stand for these precious ones in these days like never before. And because uh, God wants to bring a breakthrough in the land of family, and children, and the church because we are the bride. Right? Amen. So I want to thank you so much. We love you guys and thank you for planting the seed. Thank you so much. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you. So can we give them a hand?